Hey guys, Tudi here, welcome back finally for a new league racing video, the first one in over 10 months. Hopefully it will be a good one. <laughs> um, it is of course on a brand new game, in a brand new team, in a brand new league, in a brand new season. So hopefully we can end up still with a good result. Um, of course I've got no standings to show you here, as I usually do, because this is the first round of the season so let's just let's jump right into uh q1 this is a uh a uh, full qualifying session which uh you don't see that often in league racing um so this will be an interesting one to uh to Standing see what we can by. do here in q1 um of course it shouldn't be too difficult to get through to q2 so we should only need one run here as long as we can uh pull it together and Obviously we shouldn't push the limits too hard in our first run and just do, you know, just enough to get through uh, easily and not need another run. So heading into turn one and turn two, nice and easy, not taking too much curve, no risk of invalidation. Through the S's we skip forwards because uh, this isn't too important of a run. And as you can see, just not taking too many risks just a bit close to the wall there but you know not not going too close to track limits just trying to make sure we can make it through as uh, these cars will get out of the way nicely for us luckily no impeding either since uh, a few other drivers did uh, complain about that but that was a really good uh, chicane through there uh, it is a 28.2 uh, at the end of that Q1 run which puts us provisional uh, pole position. I don't know if that. <laughs> I don't know if you call it pole position in uh, Q1, but we'll call it that. Um, so yeah, we go we go fast by two tenths in Q1, which you know yeah, 1.8 from the knockout, perfect for us. Definitely you know no need to go for a second run there, to say the least. <laughs> um, but anyway, as we head into Q2, I don't know if you can see, but. If you look at the bottom of the screen, it says everyone is leaving the session, which means we have disconnected. Uh, and uh, that is not a great way to start QT, so we're going to leave the session and uh, our teammate will invite us back. So, uh, yeah, that's not, not a great way to, to start this uh, league racing weekend, I guess. But we'll join back and it shouldn't affect us too much. There should be, you see, about 10 minutes left in uh, Q2. Plenty of time for a run, and in case we need to box, you know, plenty of time to do that as well. So, uh, here we go, four hour Q2 run on the used set of softs that we used in uh, Q1. See if we can push it a little bit more than we did in Q1. Obviously not, not full Q3 pace, but you see getting a little bit closer to those track limits through turn one and two. This. Yeah, pretty good fast chicane. We'll skip forward again because, uh, again, we should have easily the pace here to get through to Q3. Nice through there. And, you know, th this track is um, it's really tough. <laughs> That's how our teammate lets us through. It is really tough to be on the limit. So, obviously, don't take too many risks, basically, <laughs> in there. Uh, anything other than Q3, as we'll head on board with our teammate who is currently sitting P6, has decided P7 now, so has rightfully decided to go for a uh, another run to make sure he can get through. What will it be? It is a 28.2, which is very good, and a very good showing for Salba, as we are 1 and 3 in Q2. So, let's see what we can do in this final qualifying session. We've uh, Popped the first two. Let's see if we <laughs> if we can make it three in a row. Webbers sets the benchmark for us to be a 27.9, roughly the same as we set in Q2, so we should be able to beat that lap as long as we can hook up a nice one here. Here we go. Coming <laughs> coming through that final corner. Let's see what we can do on our first run of Q3. We've got we decided to go for the fresh tires since we will have enough sets to uh, go on two fresh uh, use two fresh sets first chicane not great maybe a little bit slower than we did in q2 but 
but definitely decent enough. Turn three, very nice, very close to the limit through there. The S's should be easy flat now that the track has ramped up and they are, look how close that was to the wall there. <laughs> so, you can see how, uh, how easy mistakes uh, can be made around here. Nice and late on the brakes into whatever turn this is, like turn eight or something. Um, nice and late on the brakes, nice and close to the wall on exit. And this chicane, my least favourite corners on this track probably, but we managed to make it through them without difficulty. Uh, speaking of difficulty, that was a very close call as we nearly, nearly could have been out of the session there and then nearly could have uh, invalidated our lap as well if uh, if we got any closer to track limits than we did but anyway through the final final corner decent through there it is a 27.3 a very quick lap time which I will definitely take. Um, it, that is as, about as quick as I was setting in practice, but will we actually make it round in time to go for a final run? As you see, we're leaving the pit lane now for a final run with 1 minute and 30 seconds left of the session, which is about the same as it takes to complete a hot lap. So we are going to have to push on this out lap just to make it to the line. The Mark, thank you Mark, 30 seconds. He <laughs> tells us it's 30 seconds left of the session. 5, 4, 3, 2, and we have made it to the line. But this is only the beginning of the push. We have to now complete a good lap right on the limit for, through turn 1 and 2. Already gained a tenth. Hopefully, if we can hold this, this should be a massive pole margin. Through turn 3, nicely done, about matching what we did on our first Q3 run. Left, left, right, right. Through the S's flat out easily, nice and close to the wall. Not too many risks on track limit out there since it doesn't gain you any time. Still eight hundredths up. And we are going to go into here maybe a little bit wide, but it doesn't seem to have cost us anything too much. Yeah, we've actually gained a, a tiny bit of time through there. The right left. Oh my god, that was close to the wall. <laughs> and then <laughs> through this left right up here. We somehow we've lost time. I think we ran a little bit wide on uh, in the left, but we we lost about half a tenth through there. Final final corner. Oh, but we've made a mistake, and that means that our first Q one uh, Q one run will be our best. We are a, uh, a couple of hundreds off. Yes, excellent lap. We're all very, very But it is pole position one. nonetheless. Nice work. Come on, see you back in the pits. <laughs> Let's see how big of a margin it was. Oh, I guess we won't see how big of a margin it was, but I remember it was about nearly half a second, which is, to be honest, all luck. No, that lap, that first Q, that first Q1 lap was very lucky and very quick. But anyway, we have time to take a breather on this formation lap. Russell and Weber's P, uh, two and three, behind us. Our teammate managed to, to uh, qualify a very solid P4, which puts us in a really good position for a good result for the Constructors' Championship in this race. Anyway, let's line up. Nice 0 0.3 okay, metres so that's the rest to of the grid our up now. Be box. Patient and, watch for those lights. and so, let's see what we can do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it is... Lights out, and away we go. Uh, a lot of wheel spin off the launch. I'm really not good at launches this year. We're going to go late on the brakes. We don't want to make any contact with anyone off the launch. And that, uh, that is our first warning of the race, which could prove costly with how easy it is to make mistakes around here. But anyway, now we are going to push, because you see we've already made half a second as everyone behind us was battling through those first couple of corners. And... I mean, Weber's has already made about a second to P3. So, now we just settle in and let's just see what the pace is. We might be able to break away from Weber's here if we uh, if we push a lot. But we'll see whether it's worth it. I, I reckon at the end of this lap, we'll see what the gap is and see 
if we push through those first two sectors to try and break DRS, because of course now the DRS is enabled after the first lap, which is not a lot of time to break away. But you see, DRS coming up to the line, the gap is DRS nine tenths. Enabled. DRS enabled, we've of course got two sectors to go until that first DRS zone, so we are looking pretty a bit, pretty bit closer to track limits than we were uh, in qualifying there. Just trying to push with everything we've got to uh, to try and break away from the Webbers and <laughs> that is why I said that first track limit warning at turn 2 could co uh, prove costly because that is a second warning and that is not great for us. But look, 1.7 seconds to Webbers after lap 3. Webbers has actually got a 3 second limit, I don't know how much he was pushing. 3.5 on lap 4, as I think Webbers and the Red Bull are battling pretty hard there. The two Red Bulls and the two Mercedes all battling very hard uh, in uh, these first few laps, which is pretty not the best decision for their race, but a very, <laughs> a very good decision for our race. So I'm not going to complain about that, as Alfie manages to break into top 5, but by the end of the lap he's gone again. Um, oh no, never mind, he's back up to P3! And what has happened there, that is a yellow flag, and Webbers is out of the race. I don't know what's happened there. Um, yeah, luckily I don't think that will be a safety car. And we'll, we'll hop on board with our teammate here. This is our, our teammate's point of view. And we'll see what's going on here. Three wide. <laughs> Four wide and four into one does not, does not go through the final corner and that is what happened. And that is why Webbers is out somehow. That is not a safety car as okay, we, oh, we scrape the barrier and we run that wide and that is, that is a three done. second penalty. Um, yes, uh, it's not great for us but um, anyway, eight second lead. As long as there's no safety cars we will be alright. Our teammate up to P2, he can help us. He's he's doing a great job uh, to to in that battle to just stay out of trouble, really. Okay, but oh no, this is uh, this is not <laughs> this is not time, great for us. So far, of course, no one lap. Car. Well, of course, it has to be one lap after <laughs> after we pick up that three second penalty. But we'll come into the pit lane at least uh, at least we had time to pit. Yes, we'll come out onto the hards as you can see. There's the Aston Martin looking around the outside. <laughs> Not really around the outside, but he's staying out on track. He was really okay, pushing there to try and take the, the lead, but we do Did retain it. it. The Aston leader. Martin has not pit in this race. So this will actually be really, this will actually be really good for us. He will uh, hopefully be able to help us with, uh, with everyone behind who is also on there. Fresh hard tires. Hopefully Safety he'll car is in hold them up lap. for Safety us car in this lap. You'll on this restart, the the restart, and Keep we'll just be able to break a second and get lane. back into the uh, into the uh, situation that we were before with a, with a healthy lead, and not have to worry about the penalty. Um, but anyway, <laughs> on the safety car restart, when are we going to go? It's now on the <laughs> on the restart. Kind of messed over over blurb there. Uh, just uh, okay, no issues with tire wear for trying now. to give Keep him the slipstream though so that he can stay second and hold hold them up for us really for the, uh, for the next few sectors. Half a second gap already, six, seven tenths. Uh, SPC Lewis is up into third, which isn't great for us. He's up in second now. He's not great for us. He is very quick and uh, he is on the same age tyres as us and he doesn't have a penalty, but the good thing about this is that Blurp did hold him out of a second for us. 1.4, 1.5, up to the line on lap 12. And if we can just keep putting in consistent laps, I do have at least a tenth of a lap over him. One or two tenths of a lap over him, I reckon. We just need to hope for no more safety cars and just keep pushing all the way to the end. 1.7 through the left right uh, on lap 13. 1.8 now, uh, is that 1.8? Yes, that is 1.8. Three tenths, we take out of him, onto lap 14. Nice 
into the plastic game. That's close to track limits, but <laughs> not a warning, luckily, for us. Um, through these S's, little left now in the race. And Tobbs is out. Okay, safety car deployed. Safety, safety, car. safety car's been deployed. Watch your Delta. Oh, no. Make sure you keep it positive as we catch the pack. And uh, this is uh, a bit worrying. Are we going to pit? No, we stay out. Uh, Lewis stays out, luckily. We'll be on the same strategy as him. I don't know whether we should have pit there, though. Just because... I mean, we had two, maybe two tenths over him. He's going to gain more than two tenths from DRS, and unless we get lucky on this restart and uh, manage to break a second, I don't really okay, know. Okay, the safety car's coming in this lap. We'll be pacing the field in out sector of the three. DRS, though, Make sure just to respect the delta until the safety being, car's uh, into the pit lane. Really being enabled after just one lap now. It's uh, it's pretty difficult to gain. Uh, he's going so close to us on this restart, which I'm not a massive fan of, to be honest. But it's all right. Oh, and we slide on we slide on the restart, but again, mistake on the restart. It's a mistake on my end, maybe feeling the pressure from behind. And here comes Lewis, challenging us down into turn okay, one. Clear. Nothing we can do here. He's going to go late on the brakes around the outside, and he has the better line for the exit. We're going to have to give up the position, and probably that is our chance that we've been gone. But oh, we have a massive lockup. I don't even know how that happened. That is very weird. I think cold tyres just caught us out. We've come together with Hamilton. And that okay, you got if front wing damage. our chance have a major at a win wasn't already going, it definitely is now. And uh, probably our chance of points as well. Um, so, damage down in, what is that, P13? Not, not really a, the ideal position to be in, with six laps to go. But anyway, <laughs> let's go on with it as we, geez, we nearly slide into the wall there with how much we're having to push on the exits because we are losing so much on entry and mid corner. But us and the McLaren, me and the McLaren, we are catching up to an Alpine here who is going very slow I think he must he, I think he's lost his wing McLaren I he sent that very hard and pushed the, <laughs> pushed the Alpine off the track but uh, we'll take it up to uh, what P, P I don't even know what position we are <laughs> it's very hard to read off this uh, preview but um, this is a <laughs> very tight battle here the uh, Alpine is boxing to retire I think yeah he's uh, yeah, he's boxing to retire, but it's wheel to wheel with the McLaren. Green flag. We'll let him through. We do not. We do not want to be uh, too close to him, considering this is a fight for nothing. But also because it's a fight for nothing, we might as well fight hard. There's nothing on the line here. Here we go, round the outside, on to lap 21. We are back up into the incredible position of P11. <laughs> <laughs> we make contact with the wall and that is a warning and lucky to escape without damage there I would say. Oh, more damage. <laughs> but um, anyway, back up to P11, McLaren fighting us very, very hard here. We are, I, we are still, <laughs> it's a very close fight for what at the end of the day will be zero points, unless someone at the front retires. Oh, okay, and that is crossing a line. He has definitely, yes, that is a bit dodgy there, and uh, I'm not a big fan of that, but uh, keep it cool and just see what happens to some more contact. I don't know if that was my fault, I, I'm not sure, but he's going to take that position back as we head on to lap 24. We are fighting hard, we're going to go down the inside here. Are we even going to make the corner? Late on the break. Oh, and we've kind of <laughs> we've, we've gone very slow through there. I'm sorry about that. Kind of, kind of uh, went a bit too slow, and uh, that was uh, my mistake. I don't think he got any damage though. Luckily, um, here we go again onto the final lap. We're going to try it down the inside, and 
There's a Williams going slowly ahead. Yellow and flag. Yellow flag. We might be fighting for P10 now. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, then Russell is out of the session. We are fighting for P10. We are fighting for one point. <laughs> and we have a, a massive snap. Uh, Lacely goes back through. You can see Russell has uh, retired uh, as we you know, we went past him a couple of corners go there. And now, this is the fight for P10. He's going very slow down this straight. We're going to try and go around the outside and that is not on. That is not on. That is very much an attempted take out if I have ever seen one. As you can see, our entire front right wing is missing and he's swerving all over the place now and he's tried to brake check us. And this is not uh, not the cleanest racing I've seen from uh, another driver in the league. But um, we're still going to race him and that is a definite brake check and that is a <laughs> him definitely forcing us off the track. Uh, um, yes, this is uh, this isn't isn't great to be honest. But um, anyway, we're gonna have a look down the inside into the final corner, lock up there, and he's going slowly on the exit. That might be on purpose, and he's yeah, probably should have seen that coming. He has taken us out, and uh, that is. Not the, yeah, not the way you want to end a race. And uh, but anyway, we'll we'll cross the line in P11. It will be P10 after uh, after penalties. And uh, I think that guy will get a race ban. Um, but yeah, very very dodgy driving. But anyway, the championship. Lewis leads. Alfie managed to come home second, which is a brilliant result for uh, Kick. Um, we're third in the constructors. I didn't contribute a lot to that, <laughs> but um, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys next race. I think for give me a second. Australia, Australia. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time in Australia, where hopefully we can convert a good qualifying into a result which is just as good.